Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinker Studio. In this tutorial, we will be learning how to use keyframes for animation in Blender 2.83. So let's get on with the tutorial. A keyframe is a marker of time that stores a property's value. Keyframes are used to allow for interpolated animation. This means that if we put a keyframe on frame 1 and then move to frame 10 and move the cube, Blender will automatically determine the in-between frames. Keyframe interpolation refers to the process of filling in data between two values, in this case the in-between frames between 1 and 10. Keyframe interpolation is represented and controlled by animation curves, which are also called F curves. We can view and modify these curves in the graph editor. The x axis of the curve represents time, the y axis of the curve represents the value of the property. The keyframes are points on the curve. The interpolation mode specifies how the curve is interpolated from one keyframe to the next. The different interpolation modes can be accessed under the key menu. By default, Blender uses the Bezier, which means it uses smooth curves and thus provides a smooth animation. Bezier interpolation is controlled by handles and their positions. The different handle types can be accessed under the key menu. Free handles can be moved completely independently and can be used to make sharp changes or direction. Aligned handles are two handles of the curve point that are locked together, so they point in opposite directions, resulting in a smooth control point along the curve. The vector handles create linear interpolation between keyframes, and they remain linear when the keyframes are moved. However, when you move the handles, the handle type switches to free. Automatic handles produce smooth curves. Auto clamped handles are used to prevent overshoots and changes in curve directions between keyframes. The dope sheet can display the Bezier handle type that is associated with a keyframe. A diamond is a free handle type. A diamond also represents an aligned handle type. A square is a vector handle type. A circle with a dot represents an automatic handle type. And a circle is an auto clamped handle type, which is the default in Blender. The constant interpolation type uses no interpolation at all. This type of interpolation holds the value of the last keyframe. This type of interpolation is used during the initial blocking stage in pose to pose animation. The linear interpolation type creates a straight segment between keyframes. This type of interpolation is used to create infinite straight lines, i.e. a linear curve. Extrapolation specifies how the curve extends before the first and the last keyframe. There are two main types of extrapolations, constant and linear. The different extrapolations can be accessed under the channel menu. Constant is the default extrapolation used in Blender. The curves before the first keyframe and after the last keyframe have constant values. Linear extrapolation means that the curves are straight lines, as defined by their first and last keyframes. To better allow you to distinguish between keyframes from different animation states or events, 
It is possible to apply different colors to them. You can change the color of the keyframe by selecting it and then right clicking to access the keyframe type menu. A white or yellow circle is a normal keyframe. A small cyan circle is a breakdown state. A small gray or orange circle is a moving hold. A large pink circle is an extreme state. And a small green circle is a jitter. There are three main methods for creating keyframes in Blender. The first method uses the 3D viewport. You can simply use the I on your keyboard to bring up the insert keyframe menu and choose which type of keyframe you want to add. You can also hover over a property, in this case location, and press I on your keyboard to set a keyframe. We also have an auto keyframe option, which is the record button at the bottom of the dope sheet. This allows us to add keyframes automatically when a value for a property is changed. There are three methods to deleting keyframes. The first method is to hover over the 3D viewport and press Alt-I and select Delete Keyframe. The second method is to hover over a value, in our case location, and press Alt-I. You can also remove all the keyframes by going to Object, Animation, Clear Keyframes, and then choosing Remove Animation but please note this only works in object mode. If you have a request for a tutorial or a question about Blender, feel free to leave a comment. If you're interested in learning more about 3D art and animation, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.